In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform gate and packing replacement for the Series 746 HP Knife Gate Valve. The tools required for this demonstration are as follows. A ruler, a feeler gauge, calipers, crescent wrenches, a screwdriver with a socket head, socket wrenches, a flat head screwdriver, a metal or plastic packing compression tool, a mallet, a box knife, and an adjustable crescent wrench. Sizes will vary depending on the size of the valve. Use all PPE required for the procedure and job site. Parts listed in Table 7 of the IOM may wear out and require replacement during the normal life of the valve. These may be replaced on-site by the user with spare parts supplied by Bray. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be performing both a packing replacement and a gate replacement at the same time. Gate and Packing Replacement Remove the gland mounting nuts and washers. Disassemble the superstructure by removing the fasteners from the body. Lift the old gate and superstructure from the body assembly using suitable slings strapped below the base plate of the superstructure. An overhead hoist may be required for larger size valves. Depending on the size, Lay the superstructure and old gate assembly in horizontal position and disconnect the stem from the gate by removing the clevis bolts and nuts. Remove the gland mounting nuts, washers, gland and gate guides. Remove the old packing, part 6, from the packing chamber one layer at a time using a long thin tool to pry it out. Before installing the packing and gate, ensure the gate channel is lubricated throughout the body. Ensure that the new gate is undamaged and clear of any debris. Inspect the new gate to confirm it matches your order. Also ensure that the gate is installed properly with regards to the direction of flow. Generously lubricate the new gate. Install the gate into the body carefully. Install the new packing one at a time firmly and evenly into the chamber before installing the next layer. The end of each layer should meet but not overlap.
When installing the second layer of packing, cut it to the appropriate size. Apply super glue to both ends. Once it has sufficiently dried, install the packing. Install the gland and its fasteners. Ensure the gap between the gland and gate is uniform all around. Tighten the gland nuts finger tight plus one half turn. Mount the superstructure to the valve. Hand tighten the body bolting to the superstructure. Place the actuator on the superstructure and fasten loosely using the bellows flange. Loosen the superstructure tower attached to the body. Give air supply to the actuator and extend the piston rod towards the closing position. Secure the bellows to the stem using the cry clip. Attach the clevis to the actuator piston rod and mark the clevis position using table 10 and adjust accordingly. Afterwards, adjust the clevis by half rotation, 180 degrees, anti-clockwise to provide additional thrust or load on the PU seating surface. Apply the air slightly to the actuator to lower the piston rod and fasten the gate. Fasten the clevis bolts and nuts and tighten the lock nut. Stroke adjustment. In the closed position, adjust and ensure the gate positions from the top of the body according to table 10. In the open position, the adjusting set screw or stroke bolt in the cylinder acts as the cylinder stroke adjustment. 
Adjust this adjusting screw or stroke bolt to set the gate open position. Ensure the whole assembly is aligned correctly according to Table 10. Give air supply to the actuator assembly and ensure smooth operation of the valve. Verify the seating of the gate using a 0.002 inch or 0.05 millimeters feeler gauge at the bottom. The feeler gauge shall not enter at any point. Tighten the lock nut. Tighten the hose clip to keep the bellows fastened to the piston rod. Fully tighten the actuator mounting bolts. Fully tighten the superstructure bolts. Finally, fully tighten the clevis bolts. The valve is now ready to be put back into service. Visit Bray.com for marketing and technical support documents. Should you need further support, please reach out to your Bray contact for assistance.